Oh, you're busting him. You got it, you got it. Oh, you're gonna win, right? Go. Oh, come on. You got it. Hey, bro, what are you doing? What are you doing, bro? Ow. Oh. That was a hard fall. Are you all right? What are you doing? Don't in my Reeboks. In your Reeboks? It's supposed to be in your Jordans. Get it right. No. Where? Put the shoes on. Start the show. Come on. Yeah, you be messing up, bro. You can get your life together. Hello to every single member of the FS Army watching across the world. Of course, I'm your co-host, Brandon Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. Jang. And we have with us here today, Jody High Roller, Riff Raff, the man who gave us tiptoeing in my Jordans, which is the new national anthem around here. He's a seven-time All-Star in the National Ballers Association. <laughs> How are you, my friend? That last one really impressed me. How you doing? <laughs> Gravy. You look good. Great. But there's um nothing in this cups. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get some water in your cup and some water on your neck. Don't you have a chain you want to you want to show off for us? Oh yeah, before because, we get started, you, I got to you're bring here, up. but you want to really be in here. I don't, thank you for reminding me. I brought my jeweler here. He's also a rose gold judo chop specialist. <laughs> the, the judo jeweler, I could see. It. I was worried. He was standing judo. on the side of the set. I thought the he was about to flip me jeweler. over. What's up, man? Hey, look at his pinky before before we even get it's to a mine. Real pinky right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real pinky. Yo, yo, this pinky ring is a platinum ring. Punch them what, up that and, ring. And who, who, that, no. Where did you get the glasses? <laughs> what, what, yeah, when did this happen? Priceless. What's going on with those shades over there? <laughs> am I, am I not allowed to wear them? <laughs> um, I can even tell you what brand they are. Well, he's going to need his glasses on. When you yeah, yeah, keep them glasses Shine it. Oh, but the, but the, ends, the arms on, on those glasses bend, right? Do they? Yeah, you can bend them. I'm, I'm not, I scared. swear to you. His, his I don't think moment. so. No, I swear <laughs> to you, you can bend it can I don't bend think so. and then bend back. No, these ones don't. Oh, Maybe. you're talking Mikita. Maybe. Riff, we are so excited to talk about Wait, your so sneaker history. What's this chain? This is a meaningful piece that he, uh, him and I worked it's on me for and about Jody. six months, man. It's me and Jody Husky. Oh, it's the Husky? Yeah, it's the Jody Three Moves. Woo! How much was that chain? A lot. Priceless. Prices. <laughs> Prices. Hey, Prices. They they can't sell this one on the uh, uh NFTs or what do they call them? The cryptocurrency. You can't sell the these on the cryptocurrency. No blockchain, just blocks of ice. Yeah, this is a blockchain. It's an eagle blockchain. Don't forget yeah. your million dollar case, baby. Here you go, <laughs> yeah. We got a lot going on right, right now. Wow. Riff Raff, we're gonna talk about your sneaker history. The, the first thing we want to talk about though is the shoes everybody has on feet. So wealthy. Oh man. Please tell us what you're wearing. I didn't uh, know this part of the game. Shout out to the good friends at Sneakers and Stuff because we like sneakers and stuff. Huh? Um, these are the SNS New Balance Five Seven Fours. Got them laced up. I yeah. love that. Keeping it going with black owned designers. Um, Dark Phil Knight, he did these Air Force Ones. Um, that kid is really blowing up, man. Shout out to him. I've had these for a minute. It feels really good to be rocking these now. And also to see where he's at, just in general, with the dad socks, of course. Feel good, you look good. Come on, Dark Phil Knight. Saw so him on the train once. Riff Raff, what do you have on feet? I don't know, Harachis. And did you customize them a little bit? Do I see a little bit of writing on the outside here? No, nah, I got them like this. Peace, love, and swoosh. I, but uh, I like Haraji because you can just slide your foot in. That's a fact. Like a side, just a side. Yeah. And then a lot of people don't know how like easy and comfortable they are. There's not a lot of crazy yeah. edges to it yeah. inside, and you can just walk in them. Hugging your foot. Yeah, my favorite shoes right now is these Nike, the Zooms. Okay. But. They have one that's like a little bit cheaper than those, but they, it's completely different. The middle of the mall one. <laughs> but the, the, you know what I'm talking about? The Zoom, the zoom was, I, don't know, yeah. I should have worn. I could have worn them because they're my favorite. But they make walking. Fun. But this go like better with your chain though. This match your chain. Most yeah. importantly, Riff. I know you said you kind of like regretted wearing these today, but what's your most regrettable sneaker purchase you've ever made? I don't. know. I think I bought the same shoe two times before, and then I go home and then it's like I have that box. <laughs> which, which, like, do, what do I do? Do, do you know what shoe I that have was? so many shoes I just Or you never forgot because you don't even know what shoe it was because you forgot it twice. Still don't know. Or I bought it and then I like ordered it online and then I ended up like, getting two of the same shoe. Like what kind of, what, 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 was it Jordan's? Jordan's probably. Yeah. Um, listen, I got the Curry Air Max ones on today. I feel like maybe I should have gone a half size up. These are already kind of folding up on me. Let's talk sneaker news. The first piece of sneaker news we want to discuss is a new colorway for the self-lacing 
Air Jordan 11 Adapt. It's kind of a robotic aquatic blue raspberry ice rink look to it. Riff Raff, Damn. how do you feel about having a shoe that laces itself, you control it with the app? Are you into that or do you think we've yeah. gone too far into the matrix at that point? No, I, I, I love all the new tech shoe technology. I'm making uh, shoes right now, the Dale D'Antoni's. We'll, we'll talk about those for yeah, sure, well, but like because I want to come back when yeah, I get we'll come, completely we'll, done after I go through the whole process, and then I can present it here. Perfect. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. All right, so, but yeah, these are I like the the blue at the bottom. But are you but worried about like technology. yeah, like Does the, do those light up? They like do. Like those little two buttons. But also, yes. you can control with the app. Yeah. How tight, tight they them. are. But if the app, you know, Breaks? malfunctions or your phone is dies. Is there a manual? Is there a manual? Is there a you might have to call automatic them. off switch and go to the first the first not the first Jordan Eleven, but the first. Um, the Nike Adapt BB that yeah. they did, that they did this technology on. Yeah. Right now, my shoe is stuck in tight mode. Oh, there's no man. There's no. <laughs> I, I don't know. Wait, I don't you got to charge it or something? It's not, I just don't know right. how to untight mm -hmm. it. There should be like something like you hold two, the two buttons right there for yeah. like eight seconds and then it unlocks the thing and it goes Soft to the or something, right? You there don't want a red ring of death like on that. that. I think this is dope, though. I think that the fact that like, that tech shoe. and shoes is coming together. I mean, you I said tech and shoes? I would have walked in with, with those on. <laughs> when you press the button, it makes like a... <laughs> like, are, is that, yeah. are you cool with that? That's cool. It's like a... <laughs> they probably made it like that on purpose. <laughs> I like the noise. I mean, I think that some it people... It shows us doing something. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Put in that work. Next bit of sneaker news. Uh, we're talking about the future. Let's talk about someone who did something the old-fashioned way. There was a woman who was arrested recently for stealing $60,000 worth of Nike shoes out of a DHL warehouse. How? Yeah. I think she, she was like, printing duplicate slips or something like that and like faking the packages to say that they were delivered and keeping them all. Doing some cool gray capers. Did you ever have any sneaker jugs like that back in the day? No, no, not me. I, I don't like to I don't like to steal because I, I, I don't steal because that should come back. <laughs> like as long as the camera's shoes are on. Possessed or something, something. But like did she pull up with like a truck and just like throw the shit in there? Or she like she must have had a truck. gradually oh, over, over time. time? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean that's how they do it in Memphis. You know, sometimes it falls off the train. But not but sixty thousand times. <laughs> well, I guess <laughs> if, 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 well, there's a lot of trains. One dollar shoes. <laughs> 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 Wait, did anyone has anyone ever stolen sneakers from you like through all your years? Man, I, it, right when you said that, I remember I remember his name too. What's his, his name? name? Ricky Masto. It Fuck was you, seventh Ricky. grade, and I had these Chris Webbers, and they were the um. Fuck you, Ricky. They were they were white. They were white, and they were navy blue. Yeah, I hope you're proud and of yourself. Was, I think he was in Michigan. Just went to the NBA. Wait, Does Ricky went to the NBA? No, no, no. no Chris, Chris Webber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> friend, my friend had. I think there was the ones that were black, and they were yellow and blue on yeah, the inside. Yeah, Michigan so also. That, yeah. And he had those, and we we put them in my locker and locked it, and we came back from football practice, and we went to our locker in seventh grade, and then our shit was gone. Like, what the fuck? We had just got them, too. Yo, and then we found out who it was, and then, like, we yeah, basically, up? basically, we got we got our shit back. <laughs> but, but, yeah, the shit was, we, and I, I, I said, no, nah, they, they can keep them, but get their parents to give us the money and buy us brand new ones. They can keep them. Which pro wrestling move did you hit them with to get the shoes back? <laughs> it's all up here. Yo, keep them shits. Give me the other ones. I better not, don't, yo, man, don't even go near my knock. Right. So we're talking about the early days, talking about seventh grade, but when did shoes started mattering to you? Dude, the first day of school, I remember like fucking kindergarten or fucking, like go walking around and then you being the one that's like, yo, what shoes is that? Every day you go to school, you remember that, that kid over there always got the fresh shoes. Like that's, you're known as, that's the dude with the Jordans. If you're a kid and you're in first grade, second grade, Whatever, and you have Jordans, it's the equivalent to somebody drive a grown man driving a Bentley or the, yes. a Lamborghini or That's Ferrari. Let me ask you this, like early 2000s when you were hanging out in Houston, did you ever worry about fake sneakers? Like Sharpstown Mall, was there some middle? Yeah, yeah you no, know? like if you go to, to, like, to a flea market, there's a specific place and they aren't like trying, they aren't telling you like, yo, these are the real Jordans. Nah, you know where to get the ones that are the random ass colors that come from China. Cool were you kicks. into that? I mean, Nicekicks.com, right? Nicekicks.com, cool Yeah, kicks. we didn't forget. I used to get, wow, get that cool shit. kicks, that's yeah, crazy. And then yeah, just, you just throw the little insoles in it because the bottom's gonna be thin as fuck. You wear them one or two times and then you just Toss. put them bitches over on the, on you the side You didn't mind having the fake Jordans? So now it's like an ornament for your room. It's an NFT. Yeah. <laughs> we had, we had, I never seen, knew that shoe drop. It didn't. Michael Jordan has never seen those in his life. Speaking of Michael Jordan, um, obviously Brendan 
mentioned it before, tiptoeing in my Jordans, yeah. anthem, legendary song. Did Jordan Brand ever hit you up or acknowledge that song? Oh, my God. You can Google this and look this up. So I had um, somebody customize a, a shoe, and we did we did the shoe, and we did a riffraff shoe, a Jordan. Jordan 5. And we put it on eBay, and it was bidding for over, the bidding went up for over a million dollars. It was no. on CNN. It was, Real you, bids? You Google this. I'm not, like, the shit I'm saying, that you can look up the entire story that I broke down. And Jordan company hit eBay and said, take that shoe down. We didn't authorize that. Michael Jordan and himself? I, and then, they, and then I, had, I knew somebody who worked at the eBay. I was like, well, maybe ask them, what about all these other shoes that are being sold on The eBay? nice kicks Jordans no and stuff response. like that. And this is when Tiptoe uh, tipped on my Jordans was out. I was expecting a motherfucking Jordan deal or something. They said, nah, Dude. you ain't playing. Give him my ball back. But I bought <laughs> it. ball back is hilarious. You bought it? Jesus <laughs> Christ, that's funny as hell. Wait, did Give him my ball did back. You have a, did you have a better Jordan song than Miley Cyrus? Oh, the one with Mike Will? Yeah. That was an iconic one, too. I mean, I, you just said the Jordan song Miley Cyrus. I said 23, Mike, Mike Will. Like, you just, I don't think it's a competition, you know? Let me ask you this, because being a neon icon and just being an iconic person, period. I think that you understand because you're very aware. You do things your own way, and that pisses people off. Or whatever, because that's just who Jody Harold is. When it comes to like hearing people like, I need a water. <laughs> is that Michael hour. Jordan? No, it's my put one hour off. water thing. If it's Michael Wait, Jordan, didn't put you, him. No, go ahead. Did you drop the drop. water off? What I want to ask you though, is when it comes to people like Billie Eilish saying that she has to credit you for teaching her about Jordans. Read that tip telling you my Jordans <laughs> for you. <laughs> Was something that you, you yeah, started that thinking it. about it. No, that was it. I didn't even know what the fuck Jordans were until I heard that shit. I was like, what are Jordans? And like you introduced to Jordan. Now she has her own Jordan, which is a Jordan 15 Damn. and a Jordan 1. You know what I'm saying? So it's like when you hear things like that, Damn. how does that like make you feel? Like somebody took uh, took the basketball I bought and then kicked me out and they started playing in the gym <laughs> and inviting other people. <laughs> that same basketball. Right, right, right. I guess right. that's part of being Roman. in the silhouette of the pinnacle. Oh, that's speaking real? of pinnacle, this... Just so the people know, this is our penultimate episode. You said in the song though that yeah. you're you're wearing seven rings like Michael Jordan. Did you troll people with that? I mean, I, mean, Jordan, I got four Jordan, on right but, now. So but, you don't believe that? But I can Jordan, put on but Jordan three rings right now. But Jordan, no, but Jordan wore six. <laughs> Jordan wore six rings. Okay. You said it's seven rings like Jordan. Oh, it was like, are you were you trolling like directly? Okay, I, I, I wouldn't even thing. say trolling because I won't. One, okay, yes, yeah, maybe that's six, <laughs> six rings. Two, I, mean, I don't know if it has seven or what. I mean, what, like it's just. You know, one more. Seven-time All-Star. Somebody, okay, so that's a good example. So you say trolling. Was Kobe trolling Michael Jordan when he put on 24 instead of 23, or was he trying to go to the pinnacle? The penultimate. So that's, I think that's a big problem. I, I think that's a false accusation. Jody, let me ask you this. The Air Jordan collab that never really happened, what became of the shoes? Because eBay took them down. Like, are, are those in a vault somewhere? Like, Smithsonian, what are we thinking? From what I remember, mm -hmm. the kid who we collabed with, mm -hmm. his parents, because we, you know, like, fans hit me up all the time, and I, I'll, I'll respond if it seems sure. like something like this, they're intelligent without even speaking on the phone. Like, if there's like, somebody who has good artwork or designing, like, I don't care if you could speak English or not, like, you, you're in. We collaborated, we put, he painted the shoe, made it, never even met him, don't know what he looks like, don't have his phone number. <laughs> I told him. Satoshi type B. And we both had the the login for the eBay thing. Yeah. I mean? So anyways, his parents got involved, whatever, and then once the, the thing. Uh, Blew up. Right. Then they was like, well, we, da, 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 we need paperwork and all this. And I'm like, I'm like, okay, I'm not tripping. They pulled it down. And then I was like, y'all just keep the shoe. So you never had the shoe. If y'all uh, sell it somewhere or somehow, just like give me let me let me know what it is, and I could try to help sure. negotiate. Or if you do sell, just send me half the money. Riff raff, I know you know you're a legend too for dyeing your hair from time to time. It's not dyed right now, but how when you dye your hair, you know, uh, blue or pink or whatever, how much thought do you put in? Like, is this gonna match my sneakers or not? Or do you ever do it to match your shoes? I think I can match any pair of shoes yeah. with any. Hair color. You're has a shoe ever inspired the hair color combination oh, that you has like ever you just saying that made me think like this purplish color. I've had that kind of a purple color, but that mm -hmm. that would be a cool color. Yeah, I mean I, I never really did, but that's a good way to do it. Something. Never say never. You know, you bleach your hair first. Yes. yes. Then you put the color on. Correct. But then what you could do, and this is like something this is an inside <sighs> trick. Then you can bleach it again until it 
just a little bit and then like alter the shade of whatever color that was. Ooh, mixing okay. it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a, I had blue hair in seventh grade, it. so I'm, I'm right yeah, there with Yeah, but you. then when you do that, the bleach, colored bleach, like I was doing that on my shit was fucked. Dude. I was about to say, it's shorter. <laughs> Tears your hair up. <laughs> you gotta tell, eventually take a break. That makes sense. Blue hair yeah. before Ninja. Or just do it once a year or something. So what I want to ask you about is this shoe right here. It's a Dale D'Antoni. The Dale D'Antoni. Prototype. Round Prototype. One. Okay, that's an up-tempo sole. Which wasn't supposed to be. Okay. The person I was, you know. What is the influence behind it, though? So what is I the Dale that. Antonis going to be? Drew, I drew up that shoe, but then once I started, like, kind of putting tabs on what different materials I would use for each, like, thing, and then, like, getting with uh, somebody who has built a shoe before. And Correct. And that was the pro process and the steps of, like, getting a piece. A real scientist. We were supposed to go with an original sole, sole that I drew up. This wasn't thick enough, wasn't, it didn't have the right consistency or like buoyancy. I wanted to, what I wanted to, oh, I don't know if I should even say this. Say it, you should say Go it. Go off. Cause somebody might just actually take, just like well, talking right. about the truck. Here's the thing, if you say it, we have it right here. So we, right. can, we can refer okay, to it in so court. Okay, so this is my idea for the Dale D'Antoni shoe. Okay. I want the sole to be <laughs> illegal in the NBA. I want it to actually be like a bouncy ball. Yeah, 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 like talk a, about but bouncy. Also, but also with the bouncy ball. That's you ball. taking your ball back. I want it to yeah. be illegal in the NBA so you could actually be playing street ball <laughs> and people are like, you can't wear those shoes on this court. Yeah, jumping over You're gonna you be jumping out of the gym. <laughs> jumping out of the gym, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Illegal. Basketball shoes. Dan D'Antoni's. Nice. I love that. I, I, Dale D'Antoni's. Right, but band. Band D'Antoni's. Yeah. <laughs> band Dan. <and> this guy. <laughs> yeah, he's a word man, bro. He's a word man. Trust me. He woke up with this on his mind. Yeah, the watermelon wordsmith. <laughs> you got a color like a watermelon color. Yeah? Yeah. And then you're this watermelon walrus. Uh, we can work on that. <laughs> Oh, the W's are flying. Let's go. Imagine, him, I'm imagine out. with a watermelon colored mustache. Bruh. What are we talking about? You're welcome. Thank you. Brendan, do you dye the seeds like into like the, the watermelon? Seeds? Now, you can, now you can make some like wh whatever your shoe is, you can make it like a watermelon. Yeah, watermelon water walker or something. Mm -hmm. Skating across like uh, Jesus. I, I want to help you. Some type of lizard. I want to be the mar help with the <laughs> color contrast. We're going to make his shoe. <laughs> The <laughs> Let me ask you about Reeboks, by the way. How much of a Reebok pump guy are you? I feel like it's appropriate for the neon icon to have that panda piss color on the tongue. I have some pumps. Yeah. Um, <laughs> panda piss, nice, <laughs> nice mango yellow tone. Am I wrong? <laughs> you are wrong. Yeah. You are wrong. I like Reeboks. I like yeah, the other pumps. Like I just actually we just had this video tiptoe five, but it was is uh. Uh, the Grinch, the Grinch yeah. Reebok. Yeah. 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 It's, yeah, it's a pump series. It's a certain one that I, I like, but I, I just couldn't find it. Which ones are those? They have a ten, an actual like tennis ball type pump. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is it, is yeah. it they, all tennis ball material? Was it all? No, 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 no. Just the thing is like a tennis ball uh. pump. Michael Chang, maybe. Oh yeah, yeah. Court yeah. I'd have to pump. see them because I, 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 I think there's, some, I think there's some like cobalt electric blue on there. We'll send you a size for. Okay. Refresh with, with with all these shoes you've owned over the years. Have you ever resold sneakers? No, I never really got into that because every time I, I like I'm looking at shoes, I'm like looking at all my shoes. I'm like, damn, I could fucking make a crazy amount of money if I turned each one of these shoes into like an NFT and sold it. And then I, like I'm just doing so much shit. And then I'm like. I, could I really part with this shoe? Clothes, like whatever, like I could be like, uh, could have been hard, away hard to actually. But like shoes, man. Cause once you get rid of them, if it's rare, you might not ever get it back. God forbid. All right. Hey, Riff Raff, every Sorry. single week here on the show, we punish someone in the worst take section for something terrible they did or said last week, as huh? incited by the YouTube commenters. We make them switch out their shoes for something awful. This week it is me for saying that the Gamma Blue Jordan 11s are not that good of a shoe. That's an opinion I stand by, so. I remember when the Gammas came out, I never got them. I was, no, I was, Gamma I is I don't not know, a good Jordan. So I have he to uh, that shoe. replace my sneakers with these sneakers. Oh, Ooh. these are these are heaters. Bootleg Jordan Jeez, 11s. Trump? Oh, I thought those were troops. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, they're the knockoff troops, they're Trump. <laughs> good grief. <laughs> he got, yeah. You see the jump man on there? Damn, who is that? <laughs> I have no idea. Looks like Matilda. <laughs> got the Aunt Matildas. There you go. Damn, Matilda. Uh, Yo, okay. Matilda crossed over. Matilda with the gum bottom. Damn. Damn. Peanut butter Matilda. Wait. How come every worst take shoe always match your outfit? <laughs> Yo, you're the good. Destiny. Wait. Riff, if they had to like make you into like an iconic silhouette like that, yeah. like a Jordan figure, what would the move be? I heard mm. you play some basketball out in Ohio for about a month straight going to the gym every day. Is that true? Just a month straight? Is that true? Just a month straight? Yeah, <laughs> just a month? <laughs> or did I, was I, yeah, I mean, when I was in Ohio, I was, I would go to the gym. I think that was a lifetime up there. This was a long time ago. I heard about it. 
I heard about it. Words travel. Words travel slow. <laughs> about it 21 years later. <laughs> <laughs> Riff, my brother, we also do a segment on the show. It's called Drip, Flip, or Skip. Okay. Drip meaning that it looks good. Flip meaning that you resell it. Skip meaning that you don't rock with it at all. Our first sneaker in Drip, Flip, or Skip is going to be the Soul Fly Times Air Jordan 1. And I'm going to start with you, Riff. People might hate me. I don't know. I don't even know if that's a bad skip. I'm confused as to how this is a skip for riffraff. This looks like such a riffraff sneaker to me. That's a misconception. People see like a cheetah printer and think they think I'm like zany or wacky or kooky. No, I'm like, no, I'm like. Misread it. It looks very, it's very like uh, Jurassic Park Panther pelt, Gucci belt, ice cream candy melt type of thing. It's just the the sole is too thin for me. I like, I like, (laughs) I like comfortable, comfortable shoes. Wait, how do you, how do you rate his bars right now? Were those good? He, he has a vocabulary. I'll skip it. He has a vocabulary. Skip it too? (laughs) Yeah. Okay. That would match your outfit though. Close. Kind of. Oh, you, you'd stick with the Matildas? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not thinking these at all. You'd stick with the Tilds? <laughs> the Tilds in the building. Oh. Yeah, Tilled one. Welty. Flip. I feel like I could sell these to our good friend Conceited. How much do you like think a, you'd sell them for? This shoe, I think, is going for like eight, nine hundred dollars right now. I should have said flip. <laughs> <laughs> this is a skip for me. Um, I love the guys at Soulfly. They crush it, but you know, um, Dude, I, can't, gonna, I can't flip you're a You're not going to rep Miami like that? I thought that's your... Well, I mean, I'm going I'm to rep what I like and love, and everybody know that about me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to flip the shoe that they, get, that they give to me or something mm-hmm. like that because those are the homies. I'm not Brendan Dunn. Um, <laughs> I didn't know you knew somebody personally or whatever. But it's not... It's, there's nothing wrong with the shoe. So I, it's just for me, it isn't good. Yeah. I don't want somebody PSA, to think I'm talking just trash about saying that like, the, sh- the shoe yeah, sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the shoe sucks. And also those Air Matildas, like, yo, if the Matildas, somebody, if somebody likes those, like, somebody might drop Like, if you was walking down the street with somebody, the Matildas on If you were, were if you dropped like, 50, damn. if you dropped 50 and had, like, Basketball 13, points. 13 threes in those, the stock might go up. So, I think, I think too, they actually put, I might the, wear them. they put the logo on the heel on with, like, a stamp. <laughs> you could like peel it right it's off. Like, no, it's like stamped <laughs> like onto on the shoe, like with ink. <laughs> like you made like it with a, a potato. Yeah. <laughs> like if you licked it enough times, it just come off. <laughs> next shoe, <laughs> drip flipper. <laughs> the next, how do we go back to Matilda? We go back to Matilda. <laughs> the next shoe is going to be the LeBron 19 uniform hook. Uh, well, T, I start with you. In the words of this is LeBron shoe. In the words of Shaquille O'Neal, we don't need no hook. Let's skip. Okay. Uh, Brendan Dunn. Yeah, whatever you say, buddy. Um, I don't think I need these. I don't mind the colorway, though. Kind of like Fanta, Sunset, Splash, Peach Gummy on the dash. But uh, it's not for me. Let's skip. Yeah. How many bars did you say today? Golly. Riff, my brother. Drip. I'd wear it, but I'd not in, like with clothes. I'd wear it to play basketball <laughs> outside. Oh, with clothes on. Not with clothes on. Clothes. Clothes. Like, okay. I don't know. Balling with I your balls out. I, I, I wasn't those sure. Were some crew I thought, yeah, I thought with you were going to wear these like butt naked or something. Yeah. <laughs> 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 just, 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 I like basketball shoes that have an uh, air pocket all the way to the bottom. Of it. It's better for your joints. Yeah, mm. this is true. I want a hoop in these, me personally. It, it does feel like one of his heavier LeBrons. Takes me back to like the LeBron 11 mixed with a 9. Rock on. So this is a drip for me. Last in shoes. This shoe is going to make a million dollars in one day. Maybe three. More than that. Maybe 350. Maybe five million. Who knows? But the Adidas Yeezy 350 V2 Beluga Reflective. The very first Yeezy that came out, they were all black. Yes. That, they, I love those shoes. After that, they started putting that crease down the middle. And from my the, the toes. The seam right, right there, right? And that's uh, just uncomfortable. As fuck. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so I don't know. I'd probably not get them because they have. I'm, oh, wait, flip. The flip one. <laughs> I mean, what's it called? I don't really have to ask these two guys, but I'm going to ask it. I thought you'd be a bigger Adidas fan. Uh, Adi Dossler, founder of Adidas. His son's name's Horst. Your name's. I didn't know that. Horst. Sorry, I didn't research that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you were named after uh, Adi Dossler's son. I have like 10 pairs of Yeezys at my house. Yeah. And I, that, that I bought, but, and they have those seam thing on the middle. I just don't wear them. I wear them a couple times. Time to sell them. Yeah, uh, we have Riff Raff here. Um, to quote an Armenian, American legend, Rafi. Uh, this is a baby beluga. Um, <laughs> I wow. have no idea where we just I don't went. Know what <laughs> went down. He went down. <laughs> We're on top of Mount Ararat right now. <laughs> you don't know that song? What, the air horse? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Anyways, it's a flip. Okay. okay. Uh, how much would you sell for? Hold on first. How much did you buy them for? 
220. Christmas Eve, though. Um, Wait, are you taxing people on Christmas Eve? <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't. Uh, what about you? <laughs> Not me. I mean, I, I don't. I don't want to. Uh, put anyone in a financial weird situation. I thought you were going to flip them. You're going to flip them anyway, ain't you? <laughs> Give it to them not for retail. On, not on Christmas Eve. I'll sell them for retail, yeah. Wow. Oh, oh wow. Give them away to a give them away to a, a shoe drive. Oh, now you're being no. charitable. Yeah. I what love you that. do with your Yeezys is all up to you. Hey. <laughs> um, Brendan Dunn, what do you got for me? Yeah, I'm flipping these. Call me flipper. Killer killer whale type of situation. Free Willy didn't die for this, though. Yeah, it's a flip. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, come mm -hmm. on, man. We outside. This is going to be a skip for me. Kanye's doing exactly what Kanye always wanted to do, make which is making sure everybody has the shoe. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, um... You should. <laughs> you should make... <laughs> <laughs> Kanye would do, make money. I don't know. My brother Riff Raff, we also do a segment for outfits. And there's no better outfits to do in the world than Jody Hyro. Outfits. Oh, that's me. Oh, Young Jody. The little, I had the little uh, fours on or something right there. Yeah? Yeah. Matching the fit, too. Yeah, I remember my dad got me a, a bomber jacket, like this, like, uh... Starter joint? Forest, no, it was like this forest green. Okay. Your pops, was he a fan of Michael Jordan? Like, what made him buy you that shoe at this age? My dad was always like, um, if you really want something, like, he'd try to save up and get it for you, you know? So, yeah, he saved up and got me them shoes. These are your siblings next yeah, to you? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm probably the most, uh, like, fashionable roller of all the rollers. Iconic, eccentric, ostentatious, garish, if detail oriented. Mm. What would <laughs> okay? Riff raff. What would you? What would fashionably you? inclined, fas materialistic? Yeah, you could say that. Fashionably inclined is a good one. Yeah. What would Young Jody say? You know, if you take this, this be happy. This no, this era and screenshot your fit now, and you show him like the way that your style evolved. Like, would it blow uh, your mind, or would you like know that's where you're always gonna like evolve into? I, when I was a kid, I would all there was a. Uh, Somebody a few streets over that had a Ferrari. And like out of the entire neighborhood, I remember that, that guy, you know? So right. I always had this like vision in my brain of I want to be, you know what I mean? Whatever it takes to be that guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Brendan. Yeah, that's a drip. I mean, as, as a young man, your dad and I might be related, by the way. Do you see the similarity? The stash? Yeah, it's the general that demeanor. Stash? <laughs> yeah. Nice stash. And Brendan's making me think like scenarios where he like traveled back in time. I and love he's that like, you and, he, and him and he, are lifting up y'all Oakleys together. He's like, like, so and he's like really here right now to, I don't know. Anyways, this is like, yeah, this is like one of the most wholesome photos I feel like we've had on the show. Air Jordan 4's drip. Yeah, drip. I mean, look at this. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Like, Jordan's, there, it was tipped over to Jordan's was already manifested at this he's age right like here. He's, yeah, he's got the toe up. <laughs> um, outfit number two, <laughs> Hirachi Versace. I had some Hirachis on. <laughs> what event is this? Oh, that, that was a uh, Vegas Hard Rock. Mm -hmm. this, little, this little uh full party shindig thing. We were filming for MTV. Now, I had a TV show that was gonna come out. It was called Neon Nightmare. They fucking put like half a million dollars into a show. And then we booked all this shit. We filmed all this stuff. The producer of the show mm -hmm. flew out all the MTV producers that film reality shows and and the producers were there and they were like, we, we, everybody's so interested in the show, they love it, this is gonna be a smash hit. The week before she was supposed to turn in the pilot, mm -hmm. we got a call and they're like, yeah, that lady who green lights all the, the shows and who was that, you think? Yeah, she just quit after working there for 11 years and then they scrapped the show half a million dollars. Off the strength of that. Yeah, so that's what I see in this picture, so scrap that whole thing. Mm, that's not okay. a skip, it's a scrap. Oh, wow. I appreciate the story. All <laughs> right, hide me. <laughs> I'll put a black cloak over my yeah. face. Man, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that? bad luck. Uh -huh. <laughs> so drip, flip or skip? The, the whole outfit, then I would say skip. But if we're talking about just the jacket, then sell it to Hard Rock. But they are going to buy it. Co-signment. But what if NFT it? Yes. Brendan Dunn. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely a drip. Look at, look at how we put the whole thing together. It's the Hirachi hometown hero staying nice to like Sub-Zero. Yeah, I like it. I, I want to drip it, but then you told us the story, and I like I, I, <laughs> yeah, I realize yeah. that this like brings you so much pain in your life. Traumatic memories. And I kind of like want to help ease your pain. Uh, so <laughs> ease I'm gonna, your pain. I'm gonna skip it. No, no, it's not pain. <laughs> the story is just reminiscent of no, Rembrandt <laughs> of America. Yeah. Mm. The coulda, shoulda, wouldas of what the yeah. could have been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. The story is definitely a skip, but I love that vest. So this is a drip. Flip. I would say take the move, the trailer, go sell it. Mm. To Sci-Fi Channel, got him. I mean, we're, at, we're, at, we're at Complex right now. You don't want to sell it to us, and we can 
put it on YouTube? I had somebody who wanted to buy it from them. Five hundred thousand dollars. They, no, for they won't. They won't. They wouldn't sell it. Let the beast out the cage. They wouldn't sell it. Yeah. <laughs> Last but not yeah, least, yeah. outfits number three. Those some Agassiz. Yes, sir. Some nice jersey. What's that? Tennis? Table tennis? Hmm. Whiff waff. Indo- to call it back. Indoor today. beach volleyball. Ooh. What is that? Laser tag shirt you got on? <laughs> <laughs> Is Agassi, what is this thing with you and Agassi? Like, man, his the denimish stone wash yeah. shorts with the neon underneath. Like, the neon thigh con. You can still look those you know what I'm, up you know what I'm online. Saying? It's like I said neon thigh con. Like, I mean, these are kind of some Agassi type colors, like this type of. Correct. That was saying um, you really like. I that. like the color combos that they did with all of his Agassi projects. The tennis shirts, the headband. Like you see him wearing the headband. He had a mullet. Yeah. Like I guess. Well, you know like he had an icon. Like. You know it was a wig. What? It was a wig. True no. story. Yeah. yeah. Huh? That was so not his Andre real hair. Andre Agassi's mullet was a wig. Don't tell me that. <laughs> Don't tell me that. He's ruined your old childhood. Don't tell me <laughs> no, that. It's fucking okay, wait, he crazy. Was, oh, no, no, no. It's true. No, seriously. I'm it's not, true. Not, no, no bullshit. Meta. No bullshit. This is not the matter. So he was all out there wearing I think, all I that, think he, winning I, all those championships I think it and was lugging like, around a I pound I think it was like the French, <laughs> the French <laughs> wow, Open or something icon. like that. He said it was like slipping on his head like, wow, while he was playing. Wow, icon. <laughs> so I must ask my brother, is this a drip? Is this a flip? Is this a skip? Um, well, I already wore it, so I'm going to skip it. All right. Uh, it's a neon icon dressed like an Armenian icon. It's an amazing situation. It's a trip. Brendan? I have to skip this one because this is not my favorite Agassi colorway. I like the hot lava one a little bit better. So, so just because of shoes, you're going to skip the entire thing? Even yes, sir. Indoor beach volleyball? <laughs> yes, sir. I'm locked in. All right. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, right. This is a flip for me. Um, what are you flipping? I can start with the car in the back. Uh, <laughs> you know, but uh, I think the headband, iconic. Jersey, iconic. You know, I, I go there. Those three things alone, I can make a little money on the blockchain. So that's a flip for me. <laughs> hey, Riff Raff, before we get out of here for the day, we want to breeze the comment section and see what people have been saying about us on YouTube for the past week, which is always a fun time. We have one from Car Door saying, a female wanted to come over, but I told Shorty, I gotta watch FSR first. Smart decision. Okay. Michael Brown says, I love how everyone's personalities are so different, but the love for sneakers is shared by all. This is how it should be. Shout out to the FS Army. Thank you for that, Michael. Boom. We have Chakra Don Godson saying, this show has really revamped my love for sneakers, also keeps me up to date. I don't have much time to keep up with all the releases and sneaker news. This is a fun way, we didn't plant this, to keep me in the loop. Love what y'all doing. Love shoes since my dad got me the white Mellow 1.5s in second grade. It's been a long pl- time. Have you ever planted a comment? No, sir. In, in it for a minute. <laughs> 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 this has been another episode of Full Size Run, the penultimate episode of the season, just so you know. We are going on break soon. I'm your co-host, Brandon Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. Best dress. Bye. Dan Tony. <laughs> Dan Tony. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, she won every color. That's a full size. Buy a six for my kids, bought a seven for my chick. FS Army, it's Dad here, Trinidad James. You know how much we love you, how much I love you. But if you really have true love for us, guys, this is season 11. This is 2021 going into 2022. We need you to subscribe and let people know we're back in studio. This is one of the best, if not the best, sneaker show in the entire world. You cannot find a show better than this show, so subscribe to it, goddammit. And... Download the Soul Collector app while you're at it. You just buy the best sneakers on the internet for the best price. Also, while we have you, drop us a comment. It's the least you can do. The least. <laughs>